This video is sponsored by Surfshark. Gimmick, an unusual and unnecessary feature or action whose purpose is to attract attention or publicity. The standard swing is good enough for the average Valorant player, but I was wondering how do all the gimmick swings and peaks that the Valorant community has created compare? So I played over a hundred Valorant games only using gimmick swings. Ferrari peak. What? And here are the results in the form of a tier list. The pop and swing. By far the most iconic of these YouTuber gimmicky peaks. Popularized by Poppin, of course. You just swing ridiculously far away from the angle and then just shoot them in the head after they like fail to track you because you're just, you just keep walking in one direction over and over and forever and forever. I kept track of how effective each swing was and the Poppin swing worked 48% of the time, which compared to some of the other swings is pretty good. It really threw off enemy crosshair placement and it was pretty funny to watch too. I'm gonna put the pop and swing in the B tier. There's better options, but it's pretty solid. The jump swing. All you do is just jump out from the angle you're peeking and then shoot them in the head. I'm scared. Jump peek. She jump peeks my jump peek. What? Spike planted. One enemy remaining. Okay. I'm gonna put the jump swing in the A tier. It works out pretty well most of the time, but sometimes it doesn't exactly work. The Blob Peak. Created by Blob the Boy, you just crouch and spray past an angle and just kind of hope that it headshots them. I don't know, like, what? what's the point of this peak? Rush. All right, the blob peak gets a B tier because why did it work as many times as it did? It should not, it should not have worked that much. It should not have. It should not have. It gets B. But like, where did this guy go? He hasn't uploaded in 11 months and he hasn't streamed in a year. Where, where is Blob? Someone find Blob. The European peak, or as I like to call it, the ping swing. All you have to do is have a really high ping and then just swing them. But I have good ping in North America, so I needed an EU account. But Sammy, how did you get an EU account when it's region locked? Thanks to this video sponsor, Surfshark VPN. Using Surfshark, I tricked Riot into making them think I was in Europe and created an account, and now I have access to all the European servers. You can also bypass region locks on content for streaming platforms like Netflix. Right now, Netflix thinks I'm in Japan. European swing, activate. European swing, sponsored by Surfshark VPN. Go, 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 swing him with Europe. Oh my god, why is he running from me? Do you know using Surfshark VPN, you can get the best deals while online shopping? Yeah, you squawked to Bob then. Maybe. <laughs> you can also avoid region-based price discrimination and get the best deals on things like plane tickets or car rentals. Check out Surfshark using the link in the description and make sure to use my code ZAMI to get an extra four months free. And there's no risk to trying it because of their 30-day money-back guarantee, so give it a try. And thanks again to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. The Windmill made by this guy, and he does it way better than me. Here's him doing it. I'm normally a low sense player, so I over doubled my sense to make the windmill work. One enemy remain. The original viral video with the windmill was in a deathmatch, so I felt it was only fair for me to do it in deathmatch too. So these are all deathmatch clips. It didn't, it, it didn't really work. It was, I'm, I don't think I'm very good at it. The windmill gets a C tier because while it's fun to style on them and it works sometimes, it's always just easier to just shoot them. There's no real advantage to doing this. Movement. Most commonly done on Neon, but it doesn't have to be. You can movement just fine on some other agent. but it's always the best when done on Neon. And I am not that good at it. I had a really hard time making this work. I think her, I think her. You're by yourself. 55 on fire. No. 
Nice. This is like my one good clip. High school wasn't bad. It's over, right? Bro. Oh. <laughs> she's bad. Yeah, she's bad. Movement gets an A because you don't know how many times I tried to movement swing somebody and then before they could shoot me or I could shoot them, my teammate just shot them. A bunch of YouTubers got their own gimmick swings and like, why don't I have my own? So I created the most perfect gimmick swing and I call it the Zami P. Right, the Zami Peak gets an F because it's it's actually really bad. Don't don't do it unless you want to. Then send me clips in my Discord. The Ferrari Peak. Just swing and don't stop swinging and don't stop shooting. Just full running gun. Just commit. Just go for it. Ferrari Peak. What? The Ferrari Peak gets an S tier. This worked all the time. I st like, it's so, it's so good. It shouldn't be this good. This is supposed to be a tactical shooter. Why is it this good? The Grim Wall. Everybody knows the Grim Wall. I had moderate success with the Grim Wall, and it was pretty satisfying when it worked out too. The Grim Wall gets an A tier. I like the Grim Wall. It works pretty well. Pretty effective. The fake clone. You pretend to be a Yoru clone and then you turn around and shoot them. Yeah, this went exactly as you expected it to. The fake clone was by far my least successful peak. It took so many tries to get it to work. Got them on site first. Spike planted. Holy. Dude, I need to get myself right now. Fake clone gets a C. I struggled to make it work, but I mean, it seems pretty cool. The double pump. Named after the original Fortnite double pump, you go bang with a bucky and then you pull out your, your chamber gun and it shoots really fast. Bang, because it has a fast pull out speed. This one's cool. I personally don't really like chamber, but like, it's cool. Double pump gets a C tier. Eh, nah, it gets a B. It has potential, it has potential. That's all the swings I included, but let me know in the comments what your favorite gimmick swing is and where you would rank it. Thanks again to Surfshark for sponsoring this video, and don't forget to click the link in the description for an amazing discount. And thank you to all my YouTube members for supporting. Bye-bye.